Yes, I'm practically ready for bed. What do you want from me? Aloha. I'm back with another Lush product of the month and I just want to get right into it. So let's do that. February has been a very, very stressful month for me in many ways. And there are many reasons that contribute to that stress, but I do not want to go into those right now and relive it all. My skin, as you might be able to tell, is quite sensitive, but not in the kind of traditional way that I think people take the word sensitive. Like, um, it's not sensitive to ingredients so much. Like, I've used things that are quite strong. For example, the Don't Look At Me face mask from Lush. I've used that in the past. And although I wouldn't think it is great in terms of what my skin needs, um, it didn't do anything to my skin ingredients-wise. It didn't irritate it or leave it inflamed or red or anything like that. So it's not that kind of sensitive. It's more sensitive to sudden changes, whether it be in hormones or weather, which is why at the time of the month I get, you know, my skin does freak out a little bit. If um, it's excessively cold, my skin will dry so, so quickly. Um, in the summer, my skin can get quite oily. It's just, it, it freaks out at those kind of changes. Which is why it's no surprise that when I had stress levels going like this and then this, um, it was freaking out a little bit. Now, I always knew that lavender just worked really well for me. It works for my mind, it works for my body. My body just responds really well to lavender. So when my skin was freaking out and was getting red and really sore, the one thing that I found myself reaching for a lot was the Birth of Venus Jelly Face Mask from Lush. I love it very much. So this is one of Lush's new-ish, I say new, it's like been out for a couple of months, but new-ish uh, jelly face masks and they are $6.95 each, if my memory serves me right. I hope it has. And the jelly face masks are literally what they say on the pot. They are a jelly face mask. So they have a jelly texture and that comes from carrageenan extract, which is a gel extract from seaweed and when it's in that form it is extremely nourishing and hydrating for your skin. So you're left with just this nice like soothed feel from a jelly face mask regardless of which one you use. That's been my experience with them all. My skin just feels so well taken care of and so hydrated and pampered and just Mm. It's almost like a really healthy feeling if you get what I mean by that. Looking at the ingredients to this one in particular though, this one also contains kaolin, which is a powdered clay which is highly absorbent, so it really helps with the cleansing process of the skin and can pull any excess oils or surface dirts and things like that that are still left on the skin and really leave it feeling clean as well as nourished. This face mask also contains fresh seawater, rose petal infusion, uh, lavender absolute and chamomile blue oil so all very gentle soothing and relaxing ingredients it's all the ones that are going to help balance out your skin you know the rose can help soothe redness and the lavender can help relax you know your mind as well as your body so for me my you know skin was reacting due to stress so something that had lavender in it that was going to help contribute to the relaxation of my mind as well as my skin it was like uh, an amazing two in one i was like yes so what i'm gonna do like in my last video i am gonna fully demo this product i'm gonna slap it on as i explain how to use it this is great i got a pamper sesh for a video i love it you know what let's light a candle get that full ambience i feel more relaxed already so when you take the jelly face mask out they come in these little kind of jelly disc shapes and they're quite literally jelly like eh. obviously i have used a little bit of the side of mine uh the first thing i want to mention on that note is that you don't need as much as you think with jelly face masks like this is it inside the tub and i've only used this amount it doesn't look like a lot, but that's been like three or four face masks. So you don't need a lot. I mean, it's up to personal preference, but generally you do not need a lot. Also, it is probably a good time for me to mention a little tip about the jelly face masks, which a lot of people don't actually know. And due to this Instagram craze of uh, chopping up Lush products, which, you know, is very, very smart in most cases, with the jelly face masks, it's not such a good idea purely because if you're cutting it up, you're giving, you know, the face mask more sides and more angles to dry out from. Whereas if you leave it as one whole and you just tear pieces off as you need it, it's not gonna dry out as quickly. So little tip, don't cut up your jelly face masks. That's just advice that we were given on the shop floor about the jelly face masks. That's why the ones that are there for sampling, you know, are kept in pots at the back. With the jelly face masks, I've also found that they are just less messy. I don't know. I'm not really that messy with face masks, but you know, I just find them 
less messy and I feel like there's less waste of the product, if you know what I mean. Like, none of it's going to be stuck to the pot because it's a jelly disc. You rip off what you need and then everything else is still left there to use. So how I use my jelly face mask is I take a piece and then I mush it into a paste in my hand and then gradually apply it to my face. I don't mush it down fully in my hand. Um, I mush it down to the point where it's kind of like really, really thick and quite lumpy and then I smooth out the lumps on my face and that spreads the face mask around my skin. That's just how I apply it. People may decide to do it completely differently. I don't have a mirror for this. Again, oh my god, I made such a boo-boo. Another thing that some people might like about the jelly face masks um, because of the seaweed and because of their jelly texture and consistency, they'll never actually dry fully. Like, of course you'll still get that drying sensation on your skin as the face mask sets and such, but it'll never dry fully. I should have brought something to wipe this off my hand. Oh, please tell me I've got cotton pads or something in this drawer. Yay, there we go. Oh no, all the wee bits of cotton wool are going all over my hands. Eh. So there we go. It's not like overly even application and this is, you know, I probably would have applied it a little bit better if I remembered a mirror, but you know, things happen. We live with it. So with regular face masks, I'll usually leave them on for like 20 minutes. Um, with jelly face masks, I usually leave them on for about 10. So yeah, I'm gonna go chillax. I'm just literally gonna, you know, turn my camera off, lie back here for 10 minutes and I'll be back with you in a sec. Okay, 10 minutes has passed. I'm gonna go and wash my face mask off and then I will talk to you in a second. It's a lot of come and go with these demo videos. Right, so the face mask is off. My skin just feels so nice, it's so smooth, soft, it just feels so calm, like I know there's red bits because I just like scrubbed it off my face and uh, used very very hot water to do that but generally it just feels so, mm, feels gentle if you know what I mean, like mm. I feel very chilled right about now, like 100% could turn this camera off and like lie back and go to bed. Oh wait, that's pretty much what I'm gonna, well no, it's far too early. <laughs> I am chilled out for the night though. But for this video right now, I am done. Thank you so much for watching me demo another Lush product. Let me know in the comments what Lush products you've been loving this month or even longer than that. And also let me know what other Lush videos you want me to make. I love Lush, so I'm happy to talk about whatever you wanna see. I will leave a little link to my product of the month from last month right over there. And of course, down there is the link to my first video in my mental health awareness and suicide prevention fundraiser series. Check out the video, find out more about the cause and the charity. And if you find that you want to donate, the link to the Just Giving page for Here For You, which is the name of the charity, is in the top line of the description of every video I'm gonna make for the next year up until the 24th of February, 2019. But other than that, much love you guys and I shall see you all tomorrow. Yes, because tomorrow's gonna be Monday when you watch this and then we're back to normal. Yay, bye.